think we have a special guest coming in. Samson, are you there? Samson from Blockstream, CSO, are you there? Are you coming in live? Oh, we're adding somebody in. Ah, we are. hello. Hey, Samson. Hi. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Chris. Hello. How are you, Samson? Okay, so Chris will be receiving his first ever Bitcoin or satellite. First says, for this astronaut, yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Chris, uh, it's great to meet you, or shall I say Commander Hatfield? Uh, nice it's to an meet honor. you also. Great yeah. to meet you, Samson. So I just need you to send me your Bitcoin address, and we can okay. get started. Yeah. Can you mind showing up your wallet? Yeah, I'm going to, just a second. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do something very interesting here. So we're sending this transaction over our satellites. So this is oh, um, cool. going to originate from space. And it's, uh, I think it's a world first. Oh. Wow. Okay. And, and halfway um, around the world. I'm 12, I'm 12 time or 12 hours away from you, so right. completely yeah. on the other side of the planet. Okay, so I see your screen up there, yeah. Okay, so I've got my Electrum wallet here. So yeah. I'm just going to write a description. Bitcoin to Chris Hadfield. Commander Chris Hadfield. Oh, no, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at right. that. Nice, oh, nice edit. Yeah. OK, great. OK, and I'm going to send you about $100. We're going to max out the transaction fee. Do I get and... to request how much you're sending? Uh, next time, yes. This first time is set. OK, so we're going to, uh, I'm going to sign the transaction. I need to generate a raw transaction hex. So I'm going to just sign this and generate the raw transaction. And I'll share another screen. All right, so I am now connected to one of our teleports. So, you know, being an astro astronaut, you know, teleports are the ground-based stations that communicate with satellites in orbit. Our satellites at Blockstream are in geosynchronous orbit, so they're about 35,000 kilometers out. Takes a and while to get there. It's actually quite quick. Okay, so I will start the broadcast now. All right. And we are ready. Now I'm pasting in, uh, if you can see my screen, it's a raw Bitcoin transaction. Yep. And this is teleport A19. Uh, it's just setting up here, getting ready to broadcast. So we're sending this up to Telstar 11N, Galaxy uh -huh. 18N, and UTELSAT 113. And uh, this will broadcast to um, uh, Africa, Europe, and North and South America. So somebody on Earth that is running a Blockstream satellite dish will receive uh, this transaction, and they're going to relay it to the terrestrial Bitcoin network. And once that happens, you'll, you should see the transaction pop up in your wallet as an unconfirmed transaction. And, and how long uh, do you think it'll take, Samson? Should I hold it up and let people see it? Uh, you, can, you have to go back to the main, main screen in your Blockstream Green wallet and see okay. the transaction list. It, it should be instantaneous. So I'm going to hit yes now on my screen Ooh. and start the broadcast. And we're going to make some history. All right. Keep it up there. All right. And it's sending. And done. Now I'm going to switch my screen share to a block explorer, blockstream.info. Uh -huh. okay. This is your address here. And you should be able to see your wallet if the transaction came through. Oh, yeah. It's, I see it now. Do you see it? It's in the mempool right now. So what happens is every 10 minutes, the Bitcoin blockchain will create a block. And it will take this unconfirmed transaction action and confirm it. And at that Great. point, you'll be sure that you have $100 worth of Bitcoin. Oh, hey, look. Oh, right there, oh. first transaction. Nice. History satellite. is made. Oh, my right goodness. There. Oh. That's it. That's it. Oh, my goodness. That's it. Right there. Chris Hatfield's, Commander Hatfield's first Bitcoin. Right there. Yes. Congratulations on, on a successful link by a geostationary satellite, and it worked. Thank you very much. Nice work, yeah. Samson. Thank you. you may, th think wow. of the magic that just happened with the incredible telecommunications and the technology. That's that's unbelievable. That's cool. I could have been anywhere that that satellite could communicate with. Yeah, that's why we call it magic internet money. <laughs> <laughs> One last right, question. Thank you. One last question. Sure. Samson, 
take it from here. What do you think uh, will be the future of uh, interplanetary commerce? What kind of money will be used when we are a multiplanetary species? Yeah, I mean, we're almost a multiplanetary species right now with people living on the space station. I mean, right now, like when it was my wife's birthday and I was on the space station, what I had to do was uh, use sort of like a Skype phone link up uh, when I was in the right part, just sort of like we were waiting for that satellite there. And then I could call through to a flower shop near my wife was and I called them from space and I had to give them uh, counting out the numbers one by one, my credit card number over the phone so that so that they could then uh, get payment, uh, you know, using all the earth systems so that they could trust that we had the money so they could deliver flowers to my wife. So, you know, we're doing that from space right now, but obviously that's, you know, that's almost like trading seashells to show something that's valuable. It's a primitive and archaic system. What are we going to do when we're further away, when we have people permanently on the moon, when we are, are starting to figure out how to mine asteroids and we have people living on Mars? We're going to need a more distributed and connected and electronically based system, guaranteed. And it probably won't be exactly the same way that everyone who's looking at blockchain and Bitcoin thinks right now. But I bet you that it will be you know, the granddaughter of Bitcoin or some sort of natural evolution of the idea as we try it out and think about it and get better at it and recognize the, the even though we think it's a, the most secure way we can, we can come up with, there's probably still some ways to make it more secure. But uh, I think that is the way that, that we are going to transfer value uh, in between the Earth and the Moon and in between the Earth and the other planets. I think that is the inevitable future of commerce in space. Okay. Great answer. Thank you, Chris. Thanks very much.